I'm Naomi and this is what it's like navigating my university as a disabled student. Barriers, heavy doors and lots and lots of stairs. Getting around King's College London for Naomi is a workout. Before I've done any classes, it feels like I've run a marathon. <laughs> there are so many rooms that I just can't even try to access because of steps. Um, and other ones that I can access, they've got really difficult doors, so I spend half my time like fighting with doors. She's studying music at the university's campus on the Strand, some of which dates back to the 1800s. But not long after starting, her health went downhill, and she now relies on a feeding tube and a wheelchair. I have POTS, which is postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Um, and it basically means that if I stand up, all the blood rushes to my feet, and then there's not enough going to my brain, and so I faint. She spent two years on a mission to make it easier to move around the buildings, even starting a petition. A lot of the time they were saying it's a listed building, so they couldn't just make changes, they needed permission for it. And it took me making the petition for that to happen and for higher, like people higher up the chain to get involved. It was only once I'd done that and it got quite a lot of traction that they started even trying to listen to me. Well, the rules on this go back more than a decade. The Equality Act 2010 states that buildings need to be accessible to disabled people. And that does mean all buildings, even if they're old or listed. It's an issue Ian Streets often comes across. He's worked with English Heritage on access at some of London's most famous landmarks. I think about the journey so from when they first arrive. It's looking at all the features from where there's steps, where there's a ramp. How heavy are the doors to get through? There needs to be more education around the Equality Act, and that will then help drive businesses to improve their accessibility. Better access is finally on the way at King's, with changes to doors and steps. Does it go far enough? There are two stairs that stop me from getting to quite a lot of rooms, and we asked for a ramp to be put over them, but they couldn't do it. A spokesperson for King said, We did require listed building consent. We fully appreciate this can be a frustratingly slow process, which has been exacerbated by supply chain issues and COVID. The university takes the individual needs of our disabled students extremely seriously. We are continually developing our campuses so King's can be as accessible as possible. For Naomi, it's not what she expected from her time at uni. It's a brand new situation, you're nervous about what's going to happen and I didn't anticipate fighting for my right to be there. She's now started a society there for disabled students and hopes that sharing her experience might help others. Alison Earle, BBC London.